Welcome to a day in the life working as a nurse practitioner from home. I work remotely, I work in telemedicine as a nurse practitioner, and I've been doing it for just a little over five months now. My first job post-grad. I am loving it. There's definitely pros and cons to it, so we're gonna discuss those today, and I'm just gonna kind of share my routine. My morning routine will fluctuate as far as timing goes, depending on when my first appointment of the day starts. If my first appointment is a little bit later, I do sleep in a little bit later, but if it's early, I you know certainly get up early. I get up anywhere between 5.50 a.m. to sometimes I stretch it to like 6.30. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I typically do some type of workout, so I've been following kind of a strength program lately. I have my breakfast, and then I get ready. Jump in the shower if I need to. Even though I work from home, I really have found that getting myself ready, like getting myself ready for the day, ready for work, is really good just like for my confidence, for my focus. It may sound trivial and silly and like a, a waste of time. Like make my hair look nice, put some makeup on, to put a nice shirt on. Trust me, I am wearing sweatpants though. It really does help for me. It makes me feel professional and productive. So once I'm done and ready to sit down at my desk, I do a little planning ritual. I leave time before my first appointment of the day to look at my calendar. So I have my calendar pulled up here on my computer screen. It has my appointment times. It also has like my personal appointments and you know tasks and reminders and different things. And then I transfer everything into my daily time block planner. This is the time block planner created by Cal Newport, and I'm just trying this out new for 2022. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how I like it. We look at my weekly tasks, I look at my schedule, and I kind of time block like by day what my day is going to look like. So you kind of put it in these blocks here and you put like tasks over here and ideas you have, daily metrics. So if you have goals that you're working on, you can track them there. Just a more like free form way of planning versus having like your whole week set out like agenda style. Does anyone remember agenda books from school? That's how I typically plan, but I'm trying out this way. Look through the whole week and just kind of see like, okay, it's Monday morning. What does my week look like? How do I need to kind of structure things, you know, based on what I have going on? And I get into, you know, one of my goals that I have to include in my morning and my evening routine, and that is to write in my daily stoic journal. I love reading the daily stoic. It's a book that I've read through like probably two years now. I just wanted to kind of, you know, make it more of a journaling practice. So I love that they have this daily stoic journal. You could certainly start the journal without having read the book. It helps me like get my thoughts out. It gives you a prompt every day. Then you write a morning reflection and an evening reflection. This week, the theme is what's up to us, what's not up to us. So kind of like what we do control in life, what we don't control in life. It's kind of fun to do that. Like it gets me in a good mindset to start the day, gets any like worries or anxiety kind of out via journaling. So I will go ahead and do that. I hadn't already from the day before. I try to do it the night before, the day before if I can, but I do like to pre-chart for my patients. I like to do it for all my new patients. I just catch any red flags ahead of time if things need to be corrected or um, need to reach out to the patient, things like that before I see them or I need to request something. It's just so helpful for me, like mentally. It's not something I don't think you have to do. You don't have to pre-chart, but like I'm so new as a nurse practitioner that, you know, I need to kind of look over things and get myself centered, kind of have an idea of like a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, depending on how the appointment progresses. So I really like to pre-chart and that's essentially what I'll be doing in the last, you know, half an hour hour to 15 minutes before I start my appointments for the day. That is what I'm going to go ahead and do now and then
and then I'll get into a couple appointments this morning and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it, but I will say right off the bat, one, well, one pro of working from home is that I get to be home with my babies, my doggies. One con is that they wanna go in and out all day long. Don't you? Look at him. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Before my first patient, I am just gonna go ahead and throw in a load of laundry, which is great. Like I'm home, I can do little chores throughout the day. I just have so much anxiety like going into clinical and school and thinking like, oh my gosh, there's so much at my home I need to be doing. And you know, when you're at home, you can you can do those things. I don't have the time that I lose from a commute. The nice thing is when you're at work, like you're in a space where you can focus and all you can really do is work. So when you're at home and there are other things that you could be doing like laundry like washing dishes unloading the dishwasher cleaning little home projects that I'll like walk by the kitchen and be like oh I really wanted to do you know that thing I wanted to rearrange this or I wanted to organize the pantry and then I'm like I start feeling bad that I'm not doing that and I forget no, this is my work time. These are my work hours. It can be really hard to set those boundaries. But I think it's something that I'm getting better and better at. And I think that time blocking planner has been really helpful because it's helping me like set specific times for home tasks, for work tasks. And it helps me kind of put the blinders on a little bit more. So if you're working from home and struggling with that, give that a try. All right, it is now the afternoon, just finished all my appointments for the day. I had no no-shows today, which is pretty exciting. And here come the dogs. <laughs> Jack just got home. So now that I'm done, I am doing my admin work at the end of the day. Sometimes if I get a no-show or if I just have a break in my schedule, I can kind of get these things done. I like to just wait till the end of the day and just batch it all at once. I work for a mental health provider, so we're caring for our patients for their mental health. So then at the end of the day, once you know I meet with all my patients, prescribe, manage, you know, do my follow-ups and whatnot, that has to be communicated to their care team, right? Like just like it would be in a traditional office. So um, we use Slack, post all my cases to Slack, let their care team know kind of what we did in our session, just kind of clue everybody in. Slack is also how I can consult with MDs throughout the day. So if I need to ask a you know clinical question or get some feedback, some recommendations or suggestions, I can use Slack to communicate with MDs and get their feedback. I have a team of NPs and then I have a manager that I can contact with. Really nice way to like feel supported throughout the day and have a you know a place to go to ask questions. Like I don't feel as alone. Physically I, I am alone during the day. That is one con to working remotely, working from home. I do kind of miss like a lunch break, chatting with coworkers and things like that. As like feeling supported clinically and like professionally, I definitely do because we use this system. I'm just posting all my cases on Monday. So I have to, you know, respond to any requests that came in over the weekend. As far as like refill requests, like clinical questions that came in from patients that I need to answer. That will kind of wrap up my day. So the other thing that I will do to kind of wrap up my day that I think is helpful, put some type of like stamp of finality on the day, finish all those tasks, you know, decide what I'm going to leave till tomorrow. In this time block planner, it has a little shutdown complete button or not a button, but like a little box you can check mark. Get all my little tasks for the day and then I can mark my shutdown complete. If you're someone that likes to, you know, cross off a to-do list, you know how, how nice and important that is. It's now 5.23 and then I'll make dinner watch a show and go to bed and repeat tomorrow. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Leave your questions or comments or video requests down below. You can also check the description box below for different resources. I typically make videos all about the anti-inflammatory diet, living a healthy lifestyle, a lot of women's health topics as well. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to share like just my life updates and you know what I'm doing career wise. Um, so I thought it would be helpful to kind of throw in this video since I haven't talked about it yet. Sign up for my newsletter. Send an email 
email newsletter out usually weekly, sometimes bi-weekly with life updates and health and wellness tips, things that I don't share on YouTube or anywhere else. Check out my newsletter if that's something you're interested in, it's totally free. Like and subscribe and tick the bell for notifications if you wanna be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you soon for another one. Bye.